how's it going guys, Sharkbox here. So you guys might remember, maybe last week, I made a video about those admins that have custom player icons on the player list. This is actually very cool, and I found a way that anyone can actually do this and get it working. Now there are two downsides to this glitch. Um, you are the only person that is able to see your custom icon, and the other downside is you must have Roblox Premium for this to work. Now in this video, I don't even have Roblox Premium, but I'm gonna try it, and I'm just gonna show you guys how it works anyway. So yeah, basically you're able to create your own custom playlist icon. This can be any image you want at all and it will display next to your avatar's name on the player list. So to get started with this, we actually have to go to our computer's desktop. I'm on Windows 10 and we've got to find the Roblox player app. Now once we find the player app, we've got to right click it and just click open file location, which should be the second option. Now once you're in the files like this, you actually want to go up to the search box and you want to type in premium. So type in premium just like this and it's going to come up with the premium icons you want to select any of them right click it and then click open file location um, which is actually down a bit so it's here right now and once you click on that we can find we've got the free premium icons right here now what we actually have to do is edit these icons to become any picture that we want we have to make sure they're all the same picture and this should work perfectly fine now you can use paint.net you can use photoshop there's lots and lots of different ways to actually edit these pictures what i'm going to do is make a copy of all three of them and then i can edit edit them somewhere else on my computer just in case I want the originals so I've got the originals backed up so I'm just going to drag and place this anywhere I can put it in my OneDrive for example and then I can get to editing them so here I've got the ones that I'm going to edit I've got a backup of the original icons just in case I need them these are in some random file folders and I've also got one I already edited as you can see I made one look like Gengar so we can try this out in a bit but first of all I want to edit these ones and I want to create a custom icon so here are some examples of images that would work perfectly fine you can get these from Google images and make sure they're in PNG format that basically means that they've got transparent edges around them now this face might not stand out so much the Gengar should be pretty good the devil I've got here might be good and I've also got the Grim Reaper so I, I think I'm gonna try this one first so what you guys want to do is select the image you want make sure you right click and copy it so it's in your clipboard and now we can edit these premium icons so let's start editing them. The first one is the biggest one. So we're gonna right click this and we're gonna select open with and paint.net. As I said, you guys can use Photoshop if you want to. And what we've gotta do is select it, press delete on our keyboard, then press control V to paste in our Grim Reaper. And we're gonna make sure we keep the canvas size and we just need to make this very small. Basically, we're replacing the premium icon with this one. And if you guys have premium next to your name, then this Grim Reaper will show up. So I think that's about right. We're gonna press enter. We're gonna go on file and save we're just going to click on ok and then there you go that is done we can close out of it and let's go and do the next one now don't worry about the quality um, obviously when you shrink an image the quality of it is going to be quite bad but because these are so small on the leaderboard they're still going to look pretty good so we're also just going to make this one a lot smaller you can actually hold shift on your keyboard to make sure you keep it the same size and it will actually work quite well so let's just make this one small zoom in a bit Make sure you've got it lined up exactly in the box where the premium logo used to be. There you go, perfect. Save this one. And then we've also got the smallest one, um, which is perfect. So we can open this with paint.net or anything you want to use. I wouldn't really recommend using paint. Um, I don't think that preser preserves the transparent effect. So we're just gonna paste this one in. Just zoom out a bit, it's too big. There you go. And now once this one is saved, it should actually be good to go. So as you can see, this one looks very pixelated. We're just gonna save it and that is good. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna close out of this. We're gonna select all three of the icons. We're gonna right click and we're gonna go to copy. Now we need to go back to our Roblox file folder. And what we're gonna do from here is right click and paste. Now keep in mind, if you guys wanna back up, you can back up these because they're about to get replaced. We're gonna click on replace. It's gonna say, are you administrator? Take the blocks, click on continue. And there you go, guys. We have got our custom icons. Let's go onto a Roblox game and let's see if they work. Now, guys, as I said before, I don't have premium, so there is no way this icon is going to show up next to my name. But if anyone else does have premium, it will show up next to their name. So let's go into games. Um, I need to find a game that I recently played where someone will have premium. The streets, lots of people have premium on this. So we're going to join the game and let's see if it works. And there you go, guys. In the first game, we can see that it's actually working. This guy here has got Roblox premium and he has got a skull next to his name. And anyone else that has premium will also have the skull. This 
this is just a nice kind of like texture edit that you can do to actually get a pretty cool effect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to replace it for the Gengar and we're going to try that and we are going to see what happens. Um, what's up Dingo? Nice free avatar you've got there. So yeah, let's go and replace it with Gengar and maybe that one will look a bit better. I'm not too sure. Now the cool thing about this, you can pretty much use as many custom images as you want because they're so easy to replace. So let's just go into the folder. Let's do another replace. And this time we have actually got Gengar to test out. Now I think this one might end up looking a bit better, but I'm not too sure. So let's jump into a game and let's have a quick look. And there you go guys, here is Gengar in a game and I actually quite like that one. I think that looks very cool. Um, I wish I had premium right now but unfortunately I don't have it because um, I had to buy McDonald's and premium was $5 so yeah I just didn't want to waste the money. But um, there you go guys, so that is pretty much how you make a custom icon on Roblox. It looks very nice and it's very cool. This is how the admins do it. Now obviously the admins work at Roblox so they're able to save it in the settings for themselves and um, you know. Um, it's actually pretty cool I guess but obviously I don't work at Roblox and I never will so I'm never going to have the chance to have my own icon. This is the only chance we're ever going to have to create our custom icons but it still looks pretty cool. If you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like, leave a subscribe, let me know what icon you are going to use if you decide to test this out. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.